math problem for you. If you had five units of 30 lessons that were 30 minutes each, how many hours before you were to become fluent in a language? From learning to traveling adventures, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a video every Wednesday. Hey friends, I just finished all five units of Pimsleur Spanish, which comes out to roughly 4,500 minutes or 75 hours of language lessons. You might have been able to discern from the context that Pimsleur is a set of audiobooks separated by lessons, where each lesson is roughly 30 minutes. Throughout the lesson, you're listening to a native speaker say a word or a phrase and then repeating after them. For each of the words or phrases, you're exposed to those at certain intervals. So first, it's going to be every lesson or every other lesson until surprise. I hope you remember that word or phrase. This intermittent exposure moves what's in your short term memory to your long term memory. Or at least that's the idea. This is similar to Anki, which is a free app used for all kinds of learning, not just languages. And it also uses this graduated memory recall. The difference is that Pimsleur already has all of the audio ready for you. Whereas with Anki, all of the information that needs to be studied will need to be entered. Meaning that you'll need to find a native speaker to say the word or phrase for you. O Google puede hacerlo. Not all languages have five units, but Spanish just so happens to be one of those. I did the research so you don't have to click on so many links to answer that age old question of how many languages of the 51 languages that Pimsleur supports actually has five units. I'll link this down in the description below, but I listed all of the languages out currently supported by Pimsleur in order of how many lessons you should expect to see on their website. Some of the languages offered by Pimsleur only have 10 lessons, whereas others have 150. The math question that I gave in the intro was a trick question. Everybody is different and will attain different levels of fluency after different amounts of time. Oh, Stewardess. I speak jive. Oh, good. That being said, Pimsleur won't make you a native speaker level fluent. It will, though, provide a strong basis for getting through lots of social settings comfortably. Since Pimsleur is completely audio, aside from a couple of reading lessons, grammar isn't going to be explained in a lot of detail. An entire lesson is you learning to take part in a conversation, which means that any grammar that you do learn is going to be from context. And it actually does a really good job of this. This could be good or bad, depending on why you're learning a language in the first place. Grammar isn't that important when you're trying to communicate very basic necessary ideas, like trying to get across that you're thirsty or that you need to find a toilet. When I was in Thailand, one of the first words that I learned was toilet. It didn't matter that I had the accents wrong. It didn't matter that I didn't speak the whole phrase like, where is the bathroom, please? Whoever I was talking with understood what I was trying to say. I confess. I do know how to say toilet in a few other languages, probably because it's one of the more important words to learn first. But what about you? Comment below if you can also say toilet in another language. I haven't needed this phrase in years in Thai and I still remember it. Hong Nam, Hong Nam, Yuti Naika. So there are a couple of different options as far as accessing Pimsleur lessons. Pimsleur premium subscription is $19.95 a month for a single language. There's a seven day free trial that I've linked down below in the description if you wanna check it out. On the website, there's also the option to purchase groups of lessons, which also could be done through Audible. Duolingo, Memorize, and other language learning apps are gamified with point systems and a leaderboard, but Pimsleur doesn't have any of this unless you consider spending 30 minutes every day to complete the lesson in order to complete the unit. A game. Get ready. Here we go. Which, surprise, surprise, I do. It was a goal to complete all of five units in Spanish and I achieved the said goal. <sighs> the crowd goes wild. <sighs> yeah. Sina has dubbed Pimsleur as the best on-the-go learning app. I usually think of on the go as driving or commuting, but it can also be done folding laundry, pulling weeds, reading. 
Okay, maybe not that last one. And I would highly recommend against listening to it at the gym when you exercise, as it's extremely frustrating to lose your rep count. I found a forum with people recommending Michelle Thomas, Asimil, FSI Basic, and Spanish Pod 101. So I have a bit of research to do before I share what I think about those recommendations. But honestly, I would recommend Pumsler to any at least partial auditory learner who doesn't mind the non-gamification aspect of it. Do you like podcasts? Or listen to audiobooks already? Do you have a long commute? Or do chores around the house? Why not listen to Pimsler for 30 minutes of that time? Pimsler has not sponsored this video, although I wouldn't mind if they did, if you know what I mean. This is just my honest opinion. If you've also tried Pimsler, let me know in the comments what your experience was. The only difficult part about listening to Pimsler in public is that you'll need to repeat each word or phrase after it's been said by the native speaker. You'll need to say it out loud. Although I really enjoyed my Spanish lessons, I'm not gonna say it went by so quickly. It's recommended to only listen to one lesson per day. So for 150 lessons, that means 150 days. If one were more consistent, one could possibly finish it in less than half a year. If. Okay, to be fair, I also downloaded a bunch of other languages in that time too. I mean, honestly, how can you pick just one? Now you know a little bit more about what Pimsleur is and what to expect. If you're learning a language, make sure to check out the videos in the description below on simulated language immersion through phone settings, YouTube settings, and Netflix filters. And thanks for watching. Make sure to smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Asimil? Asimil. Asimil? Asimil. It has two S's. Oh, this is recording. <laughs> um, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I know how to say it in sign language. <laughs> Taylor taught me that one. <laughs> Make sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>